Welcome to Creative Solutions. Today we'll be doing a program on automorphic number. Okay, let's close this. This is an earlier program. Okay, the automorphic number. What is an automorphic number? Automorphic number is a number in which if you square the number itself and you can find the original number back in the squared number. That is if I square 76 square, I get 5776. I get original 76 number as a part of the squared number same same for 25 625 7 if i square i get 49 i do not have 7 at the last i do not mean anywhere in the middle at the last at the ending like if i square 5 i get 25 so at the last i get uh, 5 there so that is also an automorphic number okay see this program will have the easiest logic for automorphic number and i bet you will never find an entire internet any program which is as small as this with the basic logic see i am taking a input through scanner class user input and this is my class name public static void main args i am using a eclipse so if you have if you do not know how to install eclipse then there is my earlier video you can refer in my channel under java playlist see i am taking the user input uh, and squaring the user input simply i am squaring 76 uh, square that is 5076 okay i will just square it okay i will just write a comment okay double means it's in comment section okay now see i am squaring 5776 now what i am doing i am converting the original number 76 into string see, i'll tell you the logic now just the 76 in string okay now i'm calculating the length of the string okay so length here is 76 length has two length starts from one it's not array positioning it will not start from zero it will start from one okay see the reason is if i need to find out whether the whether it contains original number or not what i'm using is i will take out the remainder now to take out the remainder i should know from what number i should divide it okay just for example just hear me out if i want to divide 5776 the original number was of two digit so i need to get the last two digit remainder see to, to get last two digit remainder i need to take out the remainder i need to do mod 100 simple case for 25 i need to do here mod 100 if i divide 625 by mod 100 then i will get 25 as remainder now let's take consideration of 5 if i square it i get 25 so i need to divide it here by mod 10 but how will i know by which power i should divide it so what I'm doing, I'm taking the original number, converting into string, taking out its length and I will, the power uh, from which I'm dividing, I will use it L, 10 to the power L, the length, 10 to the power length of the original number. So see simply square number, that is 5776 divided by power, which uh, length is 2, uh, that is 5776 divided by 100. So what do we get? 76. If the remainder is equals to number here itself so we declare the number as an automorphic number otherwise not an automorphic number that's it we'll run this program and see the output okay first try with five okay now let's 76 76 is an automorphic number let's move on with five five is an automorphic number let's try with seven uh, seven is not an automorphic number simply because seven square is 49 and nowhere we can find that to be equals to 7 okay now let's try something big uh not big 21 21 square is 422 i think yeah 422 421 i think so simply that it's not an automorphic number we are automorphic number okay let's try another one uh let's try with 25 25 we get 625 so the original number gets back this is it if you have any doubt, please feel free to write in the comment section. This code will be available in your blog, uh, in my blog and the, in the description the link will be given so you can get the code there itself. Thank you. If you want me to make any other further videos, please write me in the comment section or send me a mail in help you in programming at the Thank you. Have a nice day.